Tom Colicchio, co-owner chef of Gramercy Park, opened another somewhat idiosyncratic place called Kraft. There a diner constructs his own meal from a table full of prepared proteins, condiments, and sauces. One critic called it a fantasy camp for foodies. No assembly required for this braised striped bass. We need to turn the artichokes to pare away all the green parts. So we're going to start just by cutting a little piece of the stem off and then cutting some of the, the tip of the artichoke off. And then we're just going to pare away the outer green leaves. And then we just trim down on this base right here, just to remove all the green spot, the green spots. We want to have the whole. The green part's kind of bitter, so we try to remove as much as possible. And we actually pare these down pretty far until you can see how the green's all gone, and we have just a nice white artichoke left. Now, before we start um, paring down the artichokes, we take some water and squeeze some lemon into it. It's real important that as soon as the artichoke is turned that we put it into the acidulated water so it doesn't turn brown. The choke is right down in this area here. Um, if this were a large artichoke, this would be more developed and really fibrous. Um, so the large artichokes, we actually just use the bottom part here. But since we're using the small ones today, we can use the whole artichoke. Okay. To make the recipe, we start with carrot, celery, onion, and leek. And let's just use a piece of this onion, a large onion. And Remove some of the core there. A little olive oil in the pan. And we just want to sweat these vegetables. I'm going to add the onions. Maybe some carrot. That should be enough. Okay. And some celery. Celery, we want to peel. Some, a little more celery. Okay. And we have some leek. If you start making this recipe and you, you find that you don't have uh, leeks, just make the recipe without it, it'll be fine. Just adds a little more flavor to it. Now you want to cut this kind of nicely when you do the garnish because you're going to use it later on to garnish the fish. Okay, and we want to season this. It's real important to season the vegetables as they're cooking. You can always go back and adjust the seasoning later. But you want to make sure Now we just want to sweat these. We don't want to we don't want to color, add color to them, so we just want to carefully sweat them, keep them moving. Let me turn this down to low here. There we go. Okay. And after they start to soften, after about five minutes, then we add our artichokes. We drain them a little bit. And add them. And then you add the artichokes, we want to add the white wine. We got a pretty good amount of, of white wine, and then we're going to add some additional olive oil. And then we're going to let that simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. So we want to very gently simmer this. And this is going to come up to heat in a second here. And then once it comes up to a simmer, we're going to add our herbs. We have some fresh bay leaf, and we have some thyme, and we have some rosemary. So now, if you look inside that pot, it looks great. And usually, if everything in that pot looks great, you really can't make a bad meal. Okay. This is actually the last day, last day of the season for striped bass. It's a really nice, thick piece. And fish has been filleted. I'm just going to cut this in half. Okay. Two nice pieces. Now, we're going to braise the fish. Okay. 
and we want to start on medium heat. Real important that when the fish goes into the pan, the pan, it doesn't have to be hot to keep it from sticking, but the fillets need to be dry. It's real important. If, if the fillets are wet, the fish usually has a tendency to stick. You can see this just, just put this in a pan a second ago, and it's already pretty easy to move around. Okay. I just want to brown this nicely on that one side. Let it cook for a few minutes. You can see how it's just lightly browned on one side, this side. Still needs a little some time. And when the fillets are, after they're seared, we're going to take them and add them right to Add them right to the pot, and then we're going to cook them. Continue cooking them. And lower this. Okay. With the artichokes right in the broth, and we can just baste some of this artichoke broth over the top of it, and we're just going to let this cook. Okay. And that's going to simmer for about five minutes, or until the fillets are cooked through. Now these are pretty thick fillets, so we'll have to cook them for about five minutes. If you have something like sole, that's, that's another thing we should point out, that you can use this with any fish. I have bass today. Um, it's in season right now. But if you have red snapper, you can use that. If you have uh, filet of sole or flounder or something, you can use that as well. Uh, salmon works well with this dishes. Uh, but just keep in mind that you have you know, fish of different thickness and follow the recipe, but you sort of have to, have to judge it yourself. Also, some people like their fish rare. Cook it less if that's the case. If you like it cooked more, continue to cook it through. And every now and then just baste it over the top. Okay. And to finish the dish, we just simply put them on the plate. Make some of these herbs. Pull some of these herbs out of here. And then we just garnish it with some of the artichokes and some of the vegetables. That's it's important. We pointed out before to cook the vegetables all. Uh, cut the vegetables nicely because we're going to use them later on in the garnish. And then we just spoon some of this broth right over it. And so you don't even need to worry about a sauce. Some fresh herbs, we have a little chervil and some parsley and some chives and a little tarragon. And you just kind of arrange that over the top. And that's it. Thank you.